on 50 and 90 into and out of Ocean City. 589 good through Ocean Pines. 113 from Bishopville to Berlin to Snow Hill. We're good. In Wicomico County rolling through on 50 from Willards to Pittsville over to Parsonsburg. Bypass around Salisbury looking good and 50 good to the Bay Bridge. That's your traffic for the Voice Radio Network. All right, 826. Good morning to everybody jumping on our Facebook Live this Hello. morning. Check out the Bill and Jessica podcast right up on our free Power app in your app store. Download uh, the Power app. Top left-hand drop-down. Click on podcasting. You can check out segments from our show at any time. We update it all throughout the week, all right? Mm-hmm. So you listen to our show 24 hours a day, eight days a week. Now, we got some trending stories for you. Big headline of the day. Hey, we have hey, a national hey, champion. Hey, hey. Kansas ended up beating North Carolina in the biggest comeback in NCAA history. Wow. Wow, 72 to 69. Again, Kansas tops North Carolina. Chadwick Mitchell, the Bill and Jessica yeah. March Madness pool winner. Okay, wow. so there you go. Shout out to Chadwick. We talked all about it earlier in the show, but uh, he came out on top. It was between him and my son Brandon. I know, I know. And going to bed, a lot of people at halftime thought North Carolina had it. Of when course. indeed, Kansas got it. They so, were there ahead. You go. They were playing hard. They came out strong. Everybody was like, all right, they got it. Yeah. They yeah. got it. So, there they you go. They this thing. Kansas uh, ended up coming out on top, and they are the big winner. Uh, a lot of people were talking about the Eagles and the Saints yesterday. I don't know yeah. if you heard about this or not, but the Philadelphia Eagles and New Orleans Saints traded eight draft picks yesterday. Mm. Eight draft picks just over three weeks before the start of the NFL draft. The Saints received two 2022 first round picks, uh, number 16 and 19, and a 2022 sixth round pick, while the Eagles received a 2022 first round pick, number 18, and a 2023 first round pick, a 2024 second round pick, and 2022 third round and seventh round selections. The Eagles will still have two picks uh, in the 2022 first round, as you know, they have the number 15. So, if you don't really understand all that, we're sitting all right with yeah, that. Yeah, it looks Two like picks uh, in the first round both and also teams, a number 15. They got what they wanted, right? Yeah. Wow. So, a lot of trades going on there. There is a lot of trades going on, but there you go. Uh, it is what it is. And uh, I can't believe, you know, we're already talking about the NFL draft. <laughs> Well, it's coming up. <laughs> yeah. The NFL in general. I can't believe we're talking about it. Is that crazy? And the draft, that's always a big I, well, night. Well, this week is uh, baseball week. Yeah. Baseball starts this week, y'all. Yep. So, we already started looking up tickets. Next week, I'm going on vacation. Uh, we're, we're taking the family down to Florida. So we'll be down there, just FYI. Um, and Jess, you're going to be handling things here. Yeah. But um, we're working on you know me taking the boys if if both want to go but definitely me and bryce going down to uh miami to see miami marlins and and a phillies game because the phillies are going to be playing down there and one other time we're going to go see the phillies in miami that'll be fun just me and him at the end of the week yeah so i'm looking forward to that so that's going to be something yeah uh a couple other trending stories reese's has a new uh pantry pack A shelf-ready, compact, portable, packaged, uh, stocked with 25 snack-sized peanut butter cups, each individually wrapped, and you can find the Pantry Pack now retailers nationwide. I'm here for it. So there you go. Reese's is one of my favorite. And I was at Walmart the other day. Wow. And remember I was telling you about the um, grab-and-go section? Yeah. And because of the pandemic and everything that's been going on, you know, it's been um, empty. Mm Mm-hmm. But it was set stock back up. It was up. fully stocked. Yeah, stock nice. back up. Speaking of the pantry, you know, yesterday I had an issue. The spaghetti sauce. Yes, you did. Um, Gemini helped me so much. She cleaned up. Oh, she did before Chadwick got up. She cleaned it all up. So your stuff wasn't out on the lawn. No. <laughs> no. But she did say some of it like splattered onto the fridge, and it's a stainless steel fridge, and you need like special uh, cleaner for boy. that. Yeah. And it was starting to dry. So she said, I don't want to put any cleaner on the stainless steel, so I'm just going to leave that for you because I think that there's special like cleaner for that. So I said, no, perfect. Just leave it there. You know, I'll take care of it. And then on the inside of the door, it started to dry up. And she said that she sprayed it, but it was like really like hard to get off. I said, not a problem. I got this little scrubby brush. I'll take care of it when I get there. I opened up the pantry door. I did. I got the special spray and the cleaner and it got it all cleaned up. Fine. But the pantry, like, for some reason, I felt angry. I was, like, pissed now. Like, I'm pissed at the pantry now. Right, right. (laughs) And I got an empty trash bag, and I went to the pantry, 
And if it was on like the top three shelves, gone. I just threw everything away. It's gone. The whole pantry threw it is out. empty. It's empty. I don't know what was in there. I don't know who uses it. I don't even know why it's in there. No one even is ever going to eat the taco shells. There was peanut butter. Yeah, I already know. Old syrup. There's like just old throw the whole pantry sauce, away. Throw the whole pantry uh, away. Taco sauce, <laughs> hot chocolate. No one's going in there. Marshmallows. Yeah, hot you chocolate. You're never eating this. You had the uh, the Nestle hot ne- chocolate. Uh, yes, the- all different flavors, marshmallows, unicorns, and all this stuff. <laughs> Not unicorn. Yes. <laughs> Birthday cake, hot chocolate. Unicorn. <laughs> all of it. It's all gone. Yes. I got pissed. Because then rid I, of it. I'm pissed at the pantry. Yep. And it was a plastic jar. For some reason, I thought it was a glass. Nope. It was plastic. And the whole thing just popped off of there. It must have landed the wrong way. And if it was in there, guess what? Not anymore. Nothing will fall out of the pantry ever again. Good. It's gone. Good. <laughs> Just throw the whole damn pantry away. And then Jem and I walked in. Door and, and all. Walked right back out. And then Chadwick came in. He looks and he was like, then he decided not to say anything yeah. at all. She's like, he's like, uh. And then he came back. This one is pissed. Yeah. He came back. <laughs> Would you like me to carry that to the top <laughs> for you? Right. <laughs> and he did. It was so uh, heavy. There was oil, oh, vinegar. Yeah. I don't know. Why do we have that vinegar? It's probably been in there for three years. Of course. No, it's gone. It's gone. You got the vinegar for the gnats uh, that you're trying to get rid of last year. Not anymore. You put it in the bowl and then you put it's a gone. piece of clear wrap over it, punch holes in it, so the gnats will go in there. I already know. Uh, Krispy Kreme has a new uh, collection of donuts called the Spring Minis. All right. They come in a basket inspired 16 count box, and the collection includes uh, the hand decorated egg shaped. Shell filled donuts. Oh. All right. And also the return of the mini chick donut. The three donuts are the mini uh, chocolate egg donut. Also uh, the mini cake batter egg donut. The, uh, let's see here, mini strawberries and cream egg donut. And they can be found in participating Krispy Kreme locations through April the 17th, okay. just in time for, for Easter. Easter. Can't believe we're already talking about that. I know. By the way, I know. We got to get ready. Definitely can't believe we're already talking about that. I mean, Easter, really? So craziness. Uh, a couple other uh, trending stories going on in the news. The creator of Squid Game is working on a movie that says could be even more violent. Really? I don't know. You said it was pretty violent. It is it's very. Um, I don't know if vulgar is the right word, but very. But Squid Game, I mean, is I can't wait for the second season. Oh. Yeah, but um, this is called the Killing Old People Club. Oh. I don't know about that, but mm. no word uh, on the plot or what's going on. Okay. But I'm sure, it sucks, but I'm sure. That it's going to be It's going to be something. Yeah. And trending. Of course. So. Wow. Uh, a Maryland rapper named uh, Gunu. Gunu. I don't know if you heard about this or not. Uh, was murdered last month. And at a memorial concert in D.C. on Sunday. Oh, wait. This was trending yesterday. Yeah, his body was propped up on standing up on stage wearing a crown. Yes. The club apologized and said they didn't know that was going to happen. No, they did. I saw pictures and I wasn't sure if it was like photoshopped or if yeah. it was a thing. What was that like, thing? Was it real? What yeah, is that we thing? We looked it up before. Yeah. What is it called? Where you embalm, but like super embalm or something? Yeah, and you like prop them up. And you put them, and you like, have them at like a, sitting a card there. table or on their motorcycle. Remember the one that they propped the guy yeah, on his know, motorcycle? Yeah, I don't know about all that. That's a little much for me. Let me see what the name of it is. It's called. I think it's called Super Embalm, right? Something like that. You're right. Let me see. You go to their funeral and they're like sitting there playing cards? Or they're like yep. sitting there in the chair? Yeah. I don't know about all that. Oh, Extreme. Extreme Embalm? Yep. Yeah, and the guy is here. How do you feel about that? No, I'm not into it. One is driving, like, in a car. They prop them up in the car. Another one is here. They're at a kitchen table with a glass of wine. The other one here, they're playing a video game. They're sitting in their gaming Stop. chair. The other one here, they're just sitting, like, at the dining room table. This one here, they're playing dominoes. The other one here is, like, at a casino table. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, they put, like, the casino chips and the cards Mm. Yep, it's called Extreme Embalming. Ice-T is 64 years old. 
64? Yeah. And no, he's, he's not. He said he thinks he looks good for 64. He's not 64. I'd have to agree. I'd have he's to agree. He's not 64, Bill. Yeah, shout out to Ice-T. Still watching him on uh, SVU. What? Yeah. Uh, Mariska Hart. Wow. I, I never pronounced her name right. Liv. Liv from Law & Order. All right. Uh, Mariska Hargate. There you go. Wish Christopher Maloney, which who was Stabler. Live wish Stabler a happy sixty first birthday. Sixty one. Yeah. There's no. I don't. Them two are going to end up together I don't eventually. It. I don't believe it. Come on now. Uh, did you see Madonna trending yesterday? No, I didn't. It's not even Madonna. I don't understand. No. Here goes uh, Madonna. What? Yeah. It's on TikTok. She got stuff done. It's uh. You can go check it out on the Shade Room. She got stuff done. Yeah. Look at her. That don't even look like a like. What is that? Madonna. Oh, she's getting too much done. Yeah, that's way it's overdone. Yeah, oh, no. Wow. Yeah, no. Oh wow. Yeah, no. Very interesting. She's got too much stuff done, but I guess that's what you do when you have money. Nah, do you, you do have all that? Plenty of money to do it. Do you do all that? So, uh, Baltimore City Council is holding its first in-person uh, session since the pandemic two years ago. The first one? Yeah. First. It's been closed for two years. Mm. <laughs> Is that crazy? Goodness, yes, very. They've been, like, super tight. Super tight. So. That's I, wild. I'll just leave my comments, you know, but. Two years. Yeah. Okay. But they're back. Uh, It's getting real now. Kim Kardashian met Pete Davidson's grandparents, just FYI. Wait a minute. Yeah. uh, You mentioned it earlier. Elon Musk is now one of Twitter's largest shareholders. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. That's just my opinion. Uh, Britney Spears has confirmed she's writing a book. I'm sure it'll be all about, Mm, you know, the conservatorship. Uh, We talked about Kansas. Uh, There's a trailer out for the Bob's Burgers movie. Uh, Just FYI, if you're into that, Bob's Burgers, um, it opens up on May 27th. Lil John has a new HGTV show. I know you um, watch a lot of yeah, HGTV. I do, I do. What's he doing? It's called Lil John Wants to Do What? Premiering on May the second. <laughs> so you can check that out. And now, you know, shout out to Jay Copeland. We played his clip earlier from American Idol. He made it. He's he's doing big things. He's great. But um right after American Idol ends, normally uh So You Think You Can Dance comes on. Okay. That was always a thing. American yeah. Idol ends on Friday, so you think you can dance on Monday <laughs> or whatever. But uh, do you watch that at all? No. All right. Well, JoJo Siwa, Steven Twitch Boss, and Matthew Morrison will be judged in season 17 okay. of So You Think You Can Dance. So there you go. 838. It's a Bill and Jessica show. Got a 47 ABC update coming up on the other side.